We're gonna go get our kids. We have made it. I have made it to Taiwan. We're officially in Taipei, officially. Delicious food. Good morning. Hello. We are going to recap yesterday and we'll tell you a little bit about it. So here it goes. So yesterday we went to church with our friends. It was a really, really neat experience. For me, there was something about halfway through the service where it hit me where I was like going to church in the country where my children were born. And it was, it was really powerful to get to worship with those believers. And um, one thing I noticed that was a little different about their service than like our service in America. It was in a different language. Well, obviously, different language. <laughs> we had the headphone translator thing, so we could still understand it, which was great. Um, but one of the things I noticed that was a little different was um, they spent a lot of time praying for their nation, which was really cool. And it seems mm. like it's something they do weekly. Like it wasn't just mm. a, on this service, we're praying for our nation. There were like two different times in service where they did corporate prayer, like everybody praying for their for their nation and that was really really neat there was also a really heavy emphasis throughout the service i noticed on the holy spirit that was really cool the building itself was beautiful so they actually had a a metal cloud and we'll show you a picture of that but a metal cloud on top of the building representing the cloud that guided and protected the people the israelites in Israel. the wilderness yeah. yeah and we went to a mall mm -hmm. which was really fun and the food court was amazing so good. Uh, food court was great. Very and clean, very crowded. Everybody was there. Then we went to a little market. My friend got me a jade bracelet when she came to Taiwan to pick up her son. And so we really wanted to get one to give to Abby when she gets older. You know, maybe like 12 or 13. So we went to the Da'an Park exit of the MRT. And I guess there they have a flower market or a jade market on the weekends. So we picked up a really cute little bracelet for Abby to have when she's older too. We went to the night market mm -hmm. last night. We had a, uh, it was just fun walking around and, and seeing what was out there. We did, we did experience stinky tofu for the first time. We didn't eat it, just so, smelled it. So for those people that have not, my wife said something really interesting and she was like right on. It smells, if you've ever been out to like uh, a farm or something like that, like a barn, where there's like livestock and like animals and things. It smells just like a barn. Yeah, that's what stinky tofu smells like. Yeah. A lot of people say that it smells like garbage or like smelly feet, but that's not that's not what I got. I, I thought it was a barn. Well, we are gonna head out and go to breakfast. Mm -hmm. I went online yesterday and bought, it's a, I think it's called like a fun pass and it can get you um, admission to a bunch of different things like Ta Taipei 101, Taipei Zoo, the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial, like 25 different things, a bus tour, I think. And then we have two days to use it once we once we start using it. Um, so that will get us through Monday and Tuesday and give us all kinds of fun things to go exploring and do. But for today, we're going to head out to Taipei Main Station and let's go see some more of Taiwan. We made it to Taipei 101. So we made it to Taipei 101. That uh, um, that elevator was super fast and smooth. You didn't even realize yeah. that you were in there. I think it took like 35 seconds it to go all the way up like almost a hundred stories. It was like 86 floors? I think so. My ears were popping. It was it's so crazy. Oh so gosh. up here it's an awesome view. The giant MacBook. This guy is the mascot. And he looks like the damper that we're gonna go in and see in just a second. The damper that helps the tower, like in the midst of an earthquake, it keeps the tower from falling over. And so they made the mascot look like it. I don't think it's the 
Caraca, hein? Bom, mas se der, não tem isso. Então, isso é o teu. Taipei 101 is awesome. We had so much fun there. Um, we went on ahead and walked back to our hotel to freshen up for a bit, but I think we're going to go back out and find food because it's like two o'clock and we haven't had lunch and we're both hangry again. So we need to get food and then I think we're gonna go to the Taipei Zoo and ride the gondolas, maybe check out Elephant Mountain. We have so much to see and so little time. So we are going to get going, let's go. So we're at the zoo. Taipei Zoo. What animals do you want to see, Joshua? Formosan animal area. Let's go see the Formosan animals. Hi. Ni hao. Do you speak Mandarin or English? Ni hao. Hello. Hi. How are you? Oh, hello. And it's a bear butt. Turn around, dude. Let me see your face. Oh my goodness. So he is. He's so, so sweet. sweet. He's so beautiful. So today is our last full day in Taipei. Tomorrow we catch the train, meet our social worker, go down to Taidong, and then Thursday we get to see our daughter. So excited. Super exciting. Yep. But yesterday was a very full day. What did we do yesterday? Let's see. First went to get our fun pass. Taipei main station, we picked up our fun pass mm -hmm. and that gets us to different amusements. We went to Taipei 101, which was really cool. We went all the way up to the 86th floor. There's actually more floors than that. Yeah. But that's where the uh, observatory is, and you can see all around mm -hmm. this area. Which floor did we... So, like, we went to that floor, and then we took a few more flights of stairs up even further to, like, an outside, outside area. Yeah. So where the, the tower is... The tower has, like, another section there that goes up, so we were around that section. So outside. there was... Outside. Outside. It was really windy. Yeah, it was so windy, but beautiful. They actually have a little damp, damper. Damper babies. They're mascots for Taipei 101 and they're little damper babies. They're so cute. So, the damper is round. And then we went to the zoo. We saw the, the black bear. It was yeah, the Taipei bear. The Formosa bear, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Formosa bear. And panda. Oh my gosh, the giant panda. Oh. And we're still catching up on sleep. Like, we were still jet lagged. We did stay up too late last night. We had to do. Oh, yeah, so. Laundry. In, so, in this hotel, uh, business. Pacific Business Hotel. Pacific Business Hotel, there is a laundry mat, and we were able to do 
our laundry. So we did that last night. It was a little late. It was very late. <laughs> yeah, in the, it's actually just like a washer, a couple of washer and dryers in the, in the gym. And so um, we just did a load of laundry totally for free. They had detergent there. It was a huge blessing. So now we won't be taking a massive bag of dirty clothes down to the next city. Pretty much starting out with like all fresh stuff, which is fantastic. One thing that's really helped us on this trip, at least here in Taipei, is Google Translator. Yeah, or App. Google Lens. I think that's what you've so, been using. So yeah, Google Lens. Yeah. You may know about it, but basically if you want to see a menu, but if you just put it over it, in real time translates the the Mandarin, Mandarin into English. If you want to or actually order something and you see it up on the menu, the easiest thing, honestly, take a picture of it, zoom in a little bit, and just say, you know, <laughs> this one. <laughs> this one. Yeah, and quite a few people here do speak at least some English, which has been helpful. Yeah, I would um, say that they probably know, like hot, like if you if if they work at the coffee, coffee shop, they know hot, cold, small. small. Uh, after the zoo, we went back to Taipei 101 to a restaurant. It was a two-hour wait called Din Tai Fung. Din Tai Fung? I ordered, we had jiaozi and oh, um... Was it jiaozi? Yeah, like the dumplings and we had, they're famous for their soup dumplings. Mm. Oh, we're so tired. Their xiaolongbao is what they're famous for and so we... They make it fresh. Like yeah, literally you like them making it. Fresh. It's probably less than, when they make it, it's probably less than a half an hour. So good. And the dessert, absolutely get dessert. They have like a chocolate xiaolongbao that is, uh, it's fantastic. You mm -hmm. put it in your mouth and it's just like molten chocolate. That's the rich, richest I've had in a long time. Super good. So good. Get all of the chocolate sh dessert xiaolongbao. So, so good. But I think today we don't fully know what we're doing. We need breakfast. We slept in a bit more because we stayed up late to do laundry, but there is a lot that we want to do today. So I think we might... Yeah, we're gonna do like the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial and the National Palace Museum. Yep. But first we need food and coffee. So let's go start this day. You want a, a cabbage bun or a garlic chai bun? Yeah, yeah. Garlic or chai? Yeah, garlic or chai? Chai. our first time trying Taiwanese soy milk. We've heard it's really good here and really different than what we have in the States. So let's give it a go. Ooh. That's really nice. It's sweet. It tastes green. Like it, it tastes plant-like. Really good. Here you want some? Funny story. So we got here and it's closed. Yeah, we were gonna go to the Lin family mansion and garden. And we went all the way here. It was really kind of a far journey. And it's not open. We're not entirely sure why. It's like 11.45 right now. It's supposed to be open until... It's supposed to be open at nine and open till like five, but it's not open at all. That's okay. We've got some really good food on the way here. Like the food in this section of town is amazing. It's so good. And then we're gonna go try to go to the National Palace Museum instead for a little bit and hope that they're open. <laughs> made it to the National Palace Museum and we figured out the bus system to get here which I'm pretty impressed with. We're gonna go find some air conditioning inside the museum though so let's go see what we find. Palace Museum was awesome. We couldn't find the jade cabbage. We tried, but we were I think not it's successful. On, it's probably 
in a different museum or something? No, no, it's definitely here. But somehow we missed it. I don't, I don't know how. We need some food again. And we're going to try to get back to the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial before it closes too. So we got a busy agenda today. We got to keep moving. Different here. Hey, buddy. Oh, please don't attack me. Hey, buddy. In this plaza, you have four amazing structures. So, directly behind us is the main gate terrace. Directly behind us is the theater and then in front of us is the concert hall and then back here is the actual Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. We're gonna go up and get a better look because it looks like there's a big statue of him inside. Super ornate and super pretty. You wanna go see it? Let's go Rocky style steps, shall we? Do it. walls are marble. This is what my husband is selling me. Well, they're plastic. So the oil fields from 22 years ago, when they built this, 20 years ago, because it took two years, they created a new method of uh, this plastic. And so they just basically extracted the petroleum, created this new uh, hard plastic. Sounds like some bologna to me. I'm hungry. Yeah. Oh, bologna sounds good. We're both hungry. Again, all we do is walk and eat and look at cool buildings, that's the best part. But lots of walking, lots of eating. It's still early on the trip, but we're breaking down and getting McDonald's. We just need a cheeseburger. We need to get unusual things. Sweet potato fries, don't have these in the US. And a random chicken patty. Just a chicken patty on the side. 